Hey everyone, it is me FC and today I'm going to go over kind of how I go in and view a project with having the background as a software developer and being in a product owner role for a tech company because there are two main things that I really do actually look for. So I've gone through a couple of different coins and the first one I actually want to go through is Cardano because they have a really um, interesting layout of how they present this different information. So we're going to just start with that. I did go to um, coinmarketcap.com just because I wanted to have the exact websites that are listed on here to be able to go to, just so I know that it's not a scam. And um, so I'm going to come in here and click on Cardano. And then up on the left, it will bring me to cardano.org. All right. So we made it to the website. And if we come to here, to so their uh, navigation bar, there is something called a roadmap. So I currently work as a product owner for a tech company and it's been awesome because I get to see the roadmaps and I'm one of the people that really works on the roadmaps for creating the product. What a roadmap is, is it's showing, you know, what has done, been done in the past, but really what is going to happen in the future for the products. So let's click on Cardano roadmap. And this one took me a little uh, while to actually figure out what was going on but it's a combination of two things. <clears throat> so they have their five phases already set out, which is kind of cool. And um, you can go in. So right now, I think we're on this phase. Um, and so we can come down. It like gives us information. So it talks about the smart contracts right here, which is awesome. But we come down, we can see different research for it. And then work scope. So the scope of the projects, you know, what they're going to be doing within this phase. And there's lots of different things, which is really cool. And then I've loved this part. This is awesome. Um, so if we come here and click full screen, yes, we can come in and see what commits are being made to the projects. Now, this is so much information right? I do not mean to know any of this, but the fact that it's documented really shows that it does have a future because there are actual people, you know, going through getting this done. Um, so to just see if, you know, a project is legit, it doesn't need a roadmap because a lot of the projects don't have roadmaps. A lot of projects haven't released yet. And so they're not going to have a roadmap because launch hasn't even happened. So it's not a red flag if it doesn't have a roadmap, uh, but it is something to just be cautious of. And I think it's really cool that you can go through, you know, on any of the days and just see uh, these different things of, you know, committed files, updated files, cold files. And it's it's all of this. Anyways, very cool representation. They went above and beyond. And they have lots, they have all of these other ones that you can go into too and just see, you know, what they completed and anyways kind of cool um, way to look at things and then so that's the first thing that I look for the second thing I look for is a readme file and um, oh it shows us down here it does have a github I did see that okay a lot of projects in crypto are open source so that's great because it means that you can go in and actually look at the code but if you don't know code, that's okay. You can still go into like the readme uh, files that are part of it. So I just clicked on their GitHub, which is a source control that keeps their projects. So it's a project management platform. And it means that you can just go in and look at it, which is awesome. If we scroll down, we should see something called readme. Sweet, there's this one right here. So we're gonna click that. And if we scroll down, this gives us lots of different information. Now, sometimes readme files, I actually find out more about the project from the readme file than the actual website because that website's just trying to market me it. But reading the readme file sometimes actually helps because it it's just saying what it actually is. So this one, it's pretty well done. Um, it kind of gives you different projects. Um, some of them though are like very extensively done. I am going to bring up another project called Hedera. They had a really cool um, looking roadmap as well. And I think they were, they had a good uh, readme file. We can look, 
I can tell you if it's great or not. Um, but if we come into here about and then down to roadmap, I really like how they have this planned out because this is what like I do. And so this is quarter one of 2022 and it shows like what they've done. So it, it like gets really in depth. Okay. None of us need to know this information unless like we're really studying it hard, but it just shows that, you know, they really are like putting things together. I haven't clicked on one of these. Let's click on it and see where it brings us. Oh, it shows us where it's located in their GitHub. Okay. See, and then more documentation, which, you know, who doesn't love documentation? And here's quarter two. So we're in quarter two right now. I wonder if they have a quarter three H2. Not sure what the H means, uh, but that's okay. And then I guess it did bring us to the GitHub. So let's click on it. We're going to probably have to go out a little bit, but yeah, because this brought us a discussion post. Let's see if they ever read me. Look, they have a read me. Let's click that. Okay, and look, it comes in. They do have a good uh, read me file. It comes in and describes what this is, which is awesome. So the next time that you are looking into a project, Look at their readme file go into their github uh it can be talked about in many different ways as in like it could be a uh it could be like source control github open source code it can like be talked about in many different ways so it might be a little bit hard to find but look that look for that and the second thing is, is see if they have a roadmap. Like I said, it's not a red flag if they don't, but it can kind of help you know where they are going in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll see y'all later.